Hey guys, welcome to 5 Minute Effects. Uh, this video is all about particle secondaries. Uh, we're going to take the emissions points that we generated previously, we're going to emit some particles from it in a sim, add some collisions, maybe do a little bit of post-processing just so you can see how all of it works and get a good feel for it. Alright, let's get going. Okay, so we're going to pick up from where we left off. We're going to do two types of emissions here. We're going to do a particle, so let's do a pop net. Then we're going to do a rigid body sim, which is uh, we're going to instance little rocks, and we're going to add the uh, sim back in, and then it can properly collide and all that kind of stuff. First off, pop net. So, and then let's bring in our collisions. So I'm going to use the RVDs as collisions, not the unpacked ones. To an attribute, delete. I want to clean these up to kill everything except name, V, W. We don't need anything in vertex. We can kill the dot object and we can kill all of that stuff too. Okay, nice and clean. Okay, when you first dive in your pop net, you've got a bunch of nodes laid out for you, which is quite nice. First off, let's talk about sourcing. So this is built to bring in geometry and scatter points by default. So we don't want that. We want all points which is basically going to just bring in all the points that we had every frame and try to emit that many points into the solve. You kill this merge. Other option is points, just points, not all points, just points. And then here, what you can do is you can set the emission per point, either every frame or every second, which is the difference between these two. So this will happen every frame. It will put 10 particles in the sim, and this will do every second, it will do 10 particles in the sim. Uh, this is the max points per frame, which is just a limitation so things don't get crazy. All points, make sure impulse activation is on and the life is 100, that's fine. So physical, by default the friction is off, so let's pump the friction up a bit. That much bounce, all these other things are default, which is fine. Uh, sub steps is fine for now. I'm gonna run the sim, here we go. So now you can see what's going on, all the emissions are there. What we need first is we need gravity, and then we need a ground plane, and then we need to merge it all in. So let's do a ground plane, merge that in, and draw some gravity. All we'll do is we'll put down a trail software, and we'll calculate our points velocity, because remember, we can do that, and you can see they're all crazy now, but we can match by new ID. There we go, now we get correct point velocities. Perfect. And let's see a sim now. Ah, that looks a bit more natural. Emission is happening constantly, which is a bit too much. So let's run effects here. Let's limit it. Let's make them last three frames. But if f at age is greater than, and now we do brackets, and we want at time inc. Now time inc is basically the result of the one divided by frames per second. Time in seconds per frame. We want it to last three frames. So we take that, we multiply it by three frames, and we check it against age. Now if age is older than three, this will evaluate to true or one, it will execute what's in this block. Remove points. What's happening here is this trail on the first frame is set to backwards, and it's looking from frame zero and it can't find anything, so it's freaking out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little time shift here, and we're going to add clamp to first, which means that if anything is before frame one or the, whatever set here, it will make the value the same as frame one. Now we have a perfect fix there. Now let's check our against our age. So that goes one, two, three, and it starts to die. Up in here, let's play this. So what we can do is let's say a point replicate. Now what this is going to do is it's going to take each point, so say there's 33, and based on the shape, so in this case it's a box, it's going to scatter 100 points for each point. And then you can buy noises and all other things. So we want to do a sphere, make this a little bit smaller so you can see what's actually going on. So see every point gets 100 points. We don't want 100 points, we want 10 extra points. Uh, let's add a little bit of noise just to break it up a bit. Copy the source attribute. And here we can do a bit of radial velocity, which it's going to inherit the velocity of 1, which is what the point gave us. But now this radial will push things out a little bit. We'll put that in there. And now let's see what we get. One thing we are forgetting though is that we are not colliding 
with this geometry, which is why it's just fallen down. So let's set that up. Okay, let's do our collisions. What we want to do is we want to port our stuff into collisions here. So let's go and grab a static object. I'm plug that in here. This is going to be in our PDs. Grab the input path. Second input, which is input one. Grab that, hit deforming, bounce, we want really low, let's do like one. Okay, so what we're going to do is in collisions, we're going to go to bullet, let's show our collisions. Oh, that's not going to work, so we hit create convex helper set of connected primps. There we go, it's going to bring in all our rigids as we need. Let's rock and roll, switch this on, switch this off, just for speed's sake. Let's play, see what we get. Ah, uh, much better. Now you can see things starting to kick off. Pop objects, copy that. Paste that in there, do a star. Point pop. Because when I'm dealing with noises, to do it in a wrangle is uh, quite involved. And to set up here, I've got to type quite a bit of code. So let's just do color, noise. Any noise, you can do any noise, I will use this one. And in here, bind and bring in the rest. You need to have your name and your type set correctly and then it will bring in the attribute from above. And if we go, mm -hmm, you should have rest. Rest is the same no matter where you do it. And remember we've also got a new ID which we can use. Up. So now we put the rest and we're going to map by the rest. And we'll do a ramp. And this ramp we want to take that and ramp it into color. We'll go right click Create input parameters for all these parameters to be promoted. Then we'll just edit interface, hide all of these things. Let's just put all of this in a group. Noise, accept that. And then we got a nice clean layout. You can see here, crunch this a little bit. You can see our noise running through here. There we go, a little bit. Let's do a bit more. Let's see. Now we can come in here and do some things like a bit of a dirty color. Then let's make this a bit of a lighter color. But there's not a lot of points going on here. So 100 points. Add a little bit more detail to the noise. Maybe push it out a little bit more. There we go. We start to get a lot of points coming. Now if I just hit D, geometry, and I say disks, that's what's going to get rendered because I want to show you what the new idea is all about. Randomize, p-scale, we want p-scale, we want only one dimension and we want to do it with a ramp. But essentially what's supposed to happen is you can put a cache here and cache your points. Here, let's actually do this before because the p-scale is essentially the collision radius that's going to get used in the solve here. So let's do the p-scale beforehand so that we know the collision uh, size. One dimension will fit between 0 0.01, 0 0.1, 0 0.05. Okay, so let's do 1 and 05. And now we've got a ramp which will control the distribution of it. But here's the trick. Because we have all these points emitting, the p-scale is going to change the whole time. But in your options here, you have a seed attribute. And if you switch this on, it's defaulted to ID. But remember, we have new ID. So that means each ID will always be the same p-scale if that's what you want. If it's not, then I think maybe for us we don't want it because it's sand. We don't really care about the scale and it's emitting every frame. Reset. And you can see it's reset the p-scale for us now. Let's do this. Let's grab this cache. Copy. Paste this in here because we can do color remapping after. Debris. Dust. And let's do save to disk. Show our color noise. There's a bit of dust. Boosh. Now you can out to dust. Particles. That's how you do particle dust when you have some rigid body simulation. Next we'll do some little bits of geometry getting emitted into a rigid body sim and then kicking around. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like the video if you liked it or subscribe to my channel for more content. And feel free to support me on Patreon with a link down in the comment section.